It's crazy to be here as a working professional. Hi everyone, how's it going and welcome to another vlog. So today I've decided to get my camera out and vlog because I'm actually going into the office. If you're new here, I'm a 2020 graduate so I joined completely remotely, never met most of the people that I work with but today that's changing. I think a lot of you watching this are students and recent graduates and you're maybe still thinking about your careers or considering working at a big four firm or being a consultant so um, yeah, hopefully this will give you a little bit of a different perspective than you would get from a careers fair or something like that. So that's why I make these videos. I hope they're helpful. And yeah, today's going to be hopefully an exciting one because I actually get to go to the office for the first time, even if it's not technically my office because I'm with Edinburgh, but haven't haven't moved up yet. So honorary London graduate for today. <laughs> So my plan for today is I'm actually going to work from home in the morning just because I didn't want to get the trains during rush hour and also I didn't want to get out of bed before 8 so <laughs> working from home in the morning then I'm going to head into the office at lunchtime, meet some of the London graduates, work in the office with them for a bit and then go for drinks afterwards. All that being said, let's get into the video. I just need to um, close these curtains so that people at work can't see my messy room behind me and get into my, my first call this morning. All right, here's the work from home setup. I've got my notebook here, um, monitor there, laptop off to the side there, and curtains there, so that I've uh, got a nice background for calls. It's England's one week of summer this week, so got my got my shorts on and um, probably gonna have to bring a spare t-shirt to the office. super embarrassing because I've lived here all my life but like I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just never usually in the financial slash office area of London. This is not my normal vibe but it's fine. I'll find it. Google Maps to the rescue. <laughs> picked up a guest pass when I got there since I technically don't even go here. We had to book desks in advance so found my desk. While I'm on voiceover I thought I'd talk about working in the office versus working from home from the perspective of someone who started their career completely remotely. So first of all today's office session included meeting up with another graduate so we could go through code together and that was a much more productive session than anything we could have done over screen share so that's a plus for the office. Something that I've struggled with starting remotely is that it's hard to form working relationships. There's no real online equivalent for all the little interactions you have during the day, like chatting to people over lunch, bumping into people at the coffee machine. That's something that 2020 and 2021 graduates, I think, have really missed out on. On the other hand, though, the times that I have done internships in person, I've found the five day office work week very intense and frankly, less sustainable long term than my work life now. I think that's partly the commute and partly because in the office I feel like I have to be switched on all the time even during lunch breaks 
Whereas at home, I can separate my work life from my personal life, which I know sounds weird because you'd think it'd be the other way around. But for me, being able to, during my lunch break, close my laptop and not be in a working environment really makes a difference. I do think flexible working is where it's at going forward. That's definitely what my preference would be. And I think companies are gonna have to adapt to that or risk losing talent. So my question for all of you is, will you be going back to the office once it's safe to do so? Or are you gonna carry on working for from home and I'll be interested to know if those of us who graduated in the pandemic are going to answer this differently to anyone who had a career in the office and then had to adapt to working from home so let me know So I've taken myself on a bit of a walk around London during my break and look where I've ended up. We're in the Temple Gardens or the Templar Gardens, I never really know which one it is. So yeah, I'm on my afternoon break, ended up here. It's so crazy because I come here all the time when I'm just like in London with friends or like just running errands. So it's really cool to be here while on my break at the office for the first time and there's music coming from somewhere and it's completely empty. It's really nice and peaceful. It's exactly the break that I needed this afternoon. This is kind of making me sad that I'm not at the London office because it's so nice here, but um, I've lived in London my whole life, so I kind of wanted to go somewhere else. And I loved living in Edinburgh when I was there for my internship. So I am excited to go to the Edinburgh office, but um, I'm gonna enjoy going to the London office while I'm still here. I mean, look at this, how freaking cool.